So here we are. This is Trafalgar Square. In case you hadn't recognized it, it's St. Martin's in the Field, and this is the National Gallery. And over here we have the extension, which was subject of some controversy a little while ago because Charles, Prince Charles objected to what was it he called it? A carbuncle on the face of a much loved friend or something. <laughs> and, and here is Mike Lawrence, the winner, selected by Stephen Fry, the winner of our portrait of Christopher Hitchens painting competition. Mike and I are just going inside the National Gallery to do a handover. This is Mike Lawrence. Stephen Fry chose him as the best painter of the Christopher Hitchens portrait. Big round of applause. Well, here we are in the cafe of the National Gallery. I'm with Mike Lawrence and I'm enjoying a pear and almond pie. He is. Mm. Mm. <laughs> I might, might bring out the slap up meal later. So Mike. How pleased were you when Stephen Fry picked your picture? A little bit excited. Mm. Bit, well, quite a lot pleased, yeah. Mm. Um, well, winning the competition was um, nice enough. The fact that Stephen Fry was the judge mm. kind mm. of uh, icing on the cake. We were very pleased that he had offered to do that. Mm. He can't be here, of course, because he's filming in another country somewhere. <laughs> so, your painting, when we get it, uh, when you're delivering it at the beginning of April, will be on, a, on an easel in the exhibition area of the lecture theatre, that's the Salis Benny lecture theatre, in the middle of Brighton. It's just across the road, I don't know if you know Brighton that well, but there's the steam, a bit of grass in the middle, and then there's across the road from the San Espenio Lecture Theatre, there's the Royal Pavilion. So, you know, Queen Victoria's home from home for her, her beau, Albert, that she built, in the Indian style, inspired by the, the um, architecture of the time, and since she was Empress of India, of course. A bit reluctant, she didn't really want to be, but... That, that's what she was made. So your painting will be exhibited there, and then we will move it to the Grand Hotel for the evening event, the banquet. And on screen, throughout the banquet, will be an eBay countdown, timed to terminate at the end of the banquet, 11 p.m. And so the people will be able to bid for it from all over the world on the eBay site. Wow. <laughs> there you go. So uh, we're hoping that um, some of the rich Americans who are fans of uh, Christopher Hitchens who w will be interested to bid for this. And in fact, of course, over in America, there's Carol Blue. Hitchens is with his widow. Yeah. So, and the, the proceeds of this will go to Atheist Alliance International. AAI, which is a charity that does a lot of good work supporting atheists in different countries, very often in countries where they are victimized. And sometimes we have to rescue them and bring them to, you know, a more safe location. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm sure you don't want to bite a bit. I'm absolutely sorry. <laughs> I don't want to spoil my dinner. <laughs> so, I mean, there are about, I believe, almost 20 countries in the world today where blasphemy is still punishable by death. Mm. And it's, it's 13 countries, these are Islamic theocracies, <laughs> where coming out as an atheist is a death yes. yeah. And other countries in the world where coming out as an atheist is um, basically the end your career. Yeah, yeah. In yeah. whatever field you may be. Even in the Bible Belt of the United States, yeah. you come out as an atheist, you can't get a job, mm -hmm. and you can't get accommodation. Mm -hmm. So we're combating that. We don't approve of that, mm -hmm. and we've got to fight against it. We want to settle the world, don't we? Where? Theistic. 
atheists do not control government or education. Mm -hmm. That's what we're working for. Mike Schiller, it's been great. Thank you very much. Thank you very much indeed. Cameraman?